Have you ever heard the tragedy of the space opera Star Wars? I thought not. It's not a tale George Lucas would tell you. It's a geek legend. Star Wars was a movie set in a science fantasy setting so deep yet so fun it could influence merchandising to create profit. It had such quality in storytelling, it could even make fundamentally irritating characters likable. The science fantasy genre is a gateway to many stories some consider to be unnatural. It became so popular that the only thing it was afraid of was losing its quality, which eventually, of course, it did. Unfortunately, it taught the sequels all it knew. Then its sequels kill it in its sleep. Ironic. It could save genres from death, but not itself. Star Wars fans are sick of getting burned. Since The Phantom Menace came out in 1999, it's been crap after crap after crap. Rather than give us the movie we've been waiting for, J.J. Abra in 2015 gave us a remake of A New Hope. Now with social justice, Mary Sue's in every bite, part of this balanced breakfast. The excitement for a new Star Wars movie is far less than it ever has been. I myself am actually dreading The Last Jedi. But how can this be? Three reasons. One, retreads. What was The Force Awakens? Protagonist leaves Desert Planet on the Millennium Falcon, meets Han Solo, learns of the Force from a mentor-slash-father figure who was later killed by the bad guy and is dragged into rebellion led by Princess Leia against an evil empire with Star Destroyers, Die Fighters, and a planet-killing ball-shaped superweapon. Let's throw in a damsel in distress on the superweapon and we'll call it a day. Gee, where have I seen this story before? I guess it's fine as long as we don't have all of the original characters returning with the Darth Vader wannabe as the bad guy. <sighs> but don't worry, you guys. The Last Jedi definitely won't be a remake of The Empire Strikes Back. After all, our massive walkers attacking the Resistance based on an ice planet won't be AT-ATs. They're at -AT -Ts. Totally different. Two burnout. It's been 34 years since we've had a good Star Wars movie. The Phantom Menace sucked. The Clone Wars sucked. Revenge of the Sith sucked, but it wasn't as bad. The Force Awakens was just okay with glaring problems. The first half of Rogue One sucked, but it saves itself from crappiness by its excellent second half. People aren't excited for any more movies. Some will watch it first day, but I can guarantee you that The Last Jedi will make a profit but only out of obligation to the viewer's nostalgia. Nobody cares what happens to Poe Dameron, Finn, or Rey. Speaking of, number three, Rey. The empress of glaring problems in this movie, and the worst Star Wars character in a movie. Please, awkward teenager Anakin Skywalker, come back and tell us more about Sand. Save us from this Mary Sue. And that's what she is, a gigantic Mary Sue who never earns her powers, gaining them through sheer girl power, rather than training and struggling for three movies to master force powers you've never seen before. Her nominal character flaw, the belief that her parents are coming back for her on the desert planet, doesn't hold her back in any meaningful way or otherwise cause us to relate to her. Honestly, I could go on about this, but the number one thing people want to see in The Last Jedi, is Rey fail. Nobody who matters cares if Rey is a Skywalker or a Kenobi, or the Rule 63 reincarnation of Anakin Skywalker, or some wound in the Force. We want to see her challenged meaningfully, even defeated. Her Mary Sue-ness deconstructed. From the ashes rises a strong protagonist who is female, rather than just a strong female protagonist. But... Given that Disney owns Star Wars, the same company overseeing Marvel Comics' descent into social justice warrior madness, replacing popular heroes with horrible, unpleasant characters who happen to be female, well, we aren't holding our breath. Disney, 
please stop this and just make a good movie. Star Wars is bleeding goodwill, and if you kill it, consumers will never forgive you.